What is up everyone? Welcome to the second vlog ni Marky episode in Tawi Tawi. Today, we will do island hopping so stick around and join us in our adventure. If you have not seen the first episode, click the link in the description box or the link on the upper right of your screen. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you're new to this channel. So larga na! And let's hop to our first island where we can find the longest sandbar in the Philippines. Panampangan Island! It takes about 2 to 3 hours to get to the island, depending on the current sea condition. You have to coordinate with the guide to get you a speedboat and rent it for a day. You can check on the details in the description box below. After settling down in our cottage, we went ahead to the western tip of the sandbar. No, this is not the longest yet, so wait for it! It was a bit gloomy when we get to the island, but after 30 minutes, the sun and the blue sky greeted us which gave the sand its white glow. Amazing! By the way, I met Gerald and Marilyn through our guide, and we were on the same plane on our way to Tawi Tawi. This trip turned out a prenup, and I got good shots for these two lovebirds. And they're happily married now! Congratulations! head back and found an area in the island where we can relax and enjoy the great view. As you can see, it's raw. I am amazed to see how pristine the shoreline is along with its turquoise water around it. Enjoyed the view and spent our time relaxing in our newly found paradise. I'm glad to share this with you as not everyone knows this place exists in the far off island province of Tawitan, which is often dragged by negative publicity. Let me tell you, it's super safe here. <laughs> it's Chibugan time! Let's dig into the seafood feast prepared by Sir Wads, our tour guide. Check the details in the description box on how to contact him. Now let me tell you this is by far the freshest and the juiciest crab I have tasted in my entire life. Bon appetito! After the sumptuous lunch, we are set to explore the other side of the island. Wait for it as I am to reveal what is in there. Hello. Hello 
guys, we're still here in Panampangan Island in Tawi Tawi and we're going to the other side of the island that's where it starts the longest sandbar it's technically two islands connected together during low tide from there all the way to that location that's a total of three kilometers of white sand connected during low tide. The island also has another sandbar but it's a shorter one right there where we had some videos taken and pictures taken. Now this island belongs to Sanga Sanga municipality of Tawi Tawi and it takes about two hours to get here from Bongao and we hired a boat we rented it for like 7,000 pesos that includes our lunch and a visit to two more islands in the municipality in other municipalities here in Tawi Tawi and those are the other two travelers that I've met I'm not sure if you can see them there hey hello <laughs> So we will attempt to explore the longest sandbar in the Philippines. Wish us some luck! Another exciting thing happened as we saw our real Vinta in action. Amazing! A Vinta is a traditional outrigger boat from the Philippine island of Mindanao. The boats are made by Sama Bajau, Tausu, and the Akan people living in the Sulu archipelago, Zamboanga Peninsula, and southern Mindanao. We are savoring our last few minutes in the island. We may have not reached the end point of the sandbar as it is already high tide, but I am fully contented with what we have seen. The Vinta was a bonus, as I have been itching to see one in action. We were wrapping things up in Panampangan Island. We are all set to explore the island municipality of Simono. So wait for it! Braving these giant waves on our way to Simono. It took us an hour and 30 minutes to reach Simono, and now we are headed to the first mosque in the Philippines. Yes, you heard it right! The first mosque which dates back to 1380 built by an Arab trader named Sheikh Karimul Makdum. The 
four pillars of the original mosque is still existing and is being preserved. These pillars are sacred to Islam faith and is one of the historical treasures of the Philippines. And now to our final stop for today, a short 20-minute hop from Simono, Sangay Shepo Island. Hey, what's up guys? We're in our last island here in Tawi-Tawi. This is the Sangay, Sangay Island. Sangay Shapo. This is the Sangay, Sangay Shapo Island. And the island is there at the background. Now don't forget to follow my Facebook page, I Love Rest Day, and my YouTube channel, Dito Sa Pilipinas. And finally, we were able to conquer the southernmost province in the Philippines, Tawi Tawi! And that ends our Tawi Tawi adventure. I hope you had a great time watching my vlog. So leave a comment, thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for future updates. Bye-bye! I said, I said.